speak. You know, we've been on air since 4.30, and all of a sudden, at 6.30, it's like everything breaks down. You need some green tea, Christine. I need some green tea. Anyway, well, you know the rest, but yeah, here's... Yeah, every Friday we draw another name yeah. the following Monday, yeah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> uh, Laura Ingalls, Melissa Gilbert, is 51 years old today, and David Attenborough, 89, legendary naturalist and nature documentary producer who created uh, Planet Earth and also The Life of Birds, among other very successful documentaries. Yay! Yes, I got through that did. without my tongue falling out of my face. We also have a very special anniversary announcement. Dennis and Diane Ortel are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary today, so a big congratulations to them. All right, congratulations. My daughter Jenna celebrates her 18th birthday today. Oh, very look nice. out. She's having a little party with a taco bar, so I'm making some tacos today. That's a good dad. Okay, I love that idea, too. And that was Jenna's idea. Yes. Uh, so happy birthday, Jenna. Happy 18th. Tammy Bongard, you're our winner this week. Give us a call or an email and claim that prize. Today is National Coconut Cream Pie Day. On this date in, uh, let's see, we'll go back to 1945. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. This is officially VE Day. Combat ended in Europe. Uh, German forces uh, agree to an unconditional surrender, but the documents were actually signed the day prior. 1958, I got this one for you, Christine. And I don't know why I egg you on, but uh, I did get this one for you. In 1958, on this date, uh, Dracula premiered, starring ah. Christopher Lee. Oh, thank you. Give me a hug. You're welcome. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, 1980, on this date, the World Health Organization confirmed the eradication of smallpox. And uh, on this date, in 1966, uh, the Bring You Down moment, a plane crash in... Connellsville, Pennsylvania, killed Pennsylvania Attorney General Walter Alessandroni and his wife. All right, now for your viewing pleasure. Uh, we go back into the 1800s. This is Jacob's Pharmacy. It is in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the pharmacy that first sold what, Christine? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola on this date in 1886. Uh, John Pemberton sold it. He was a colonel in the Civil War, got whacked across the chest by a saber, which apparently would be painful, and I believe it was, he got addicted to morphine, which a lot of soldiers did after the Civil War. And uh, he wanted to find uh, a way to get off of morphine, because he knew he was addicted to it. So he kind of tinkered around. He was a chemist, and he came up with Dr. Tubble, Dr. Tuggle's Compound syrup of globe of flour. That was his initial thing. <laughs> Didn't work out real well and then went on to what was called French wine cola. But in 1886, Georgia laws changed and there were a lot of temperance laws that came out, so you couldn't include alcohol in a lot of these things. Uh, so he tried to come up with something that didn't have alcohol in it and started experimenting with the cola bean and came up with a syrup that uh, he used as a medicine. And then he accidentally mixed it with carbonated water behind his counter and didn't want to waste it, so he gave it to a customer, and uh, they decided to start selling that as a, as a beverage. And, you know, there, there were no laws about advertising back then, so he claimed it would cure morphine addiction, headaches, even uh, impotence, oh. among many, many other things. He eventually, uh, you know, was getting older and decided to sell it, but he wanted to keep a portion of it for his son. His son wanted the money. Sold it over time, over about a three-year period. So sold it to Asa Candler for about a thousand bucks in total. Have you ever been to mm -hmm. the Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta? No. no. It is huge, and I tell you what, it is so interesting. You wouldn't think so. It is very interesting. I highly recommend mm -hmm. doing it. And now I haven't been since the '90s, but they have different taps of uh, the different kinds of Coca-Cola that served all around the world, which are about. Uh, 30 of them. It's really cool, Vanilla though. Vanilla Coke, Lime Coke, I highly Diet Coke. I highly yeah. recommend going. It's by the way, that $1,000 investment by Asa Candler uh, uh, last total was uh, $47 billion Jeez. in revenue. Still most popular soft drink. Mm -hmm. That was not a good move. No. The sale. Well, smart. Anyway, yes. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for you. Uh, this is what it uh, looks like now, of course. The cool makes me thirsty. 80 oh degrees.